in terms of food they eat rice in everything that they eat they must put rice at the point i was like whenever i leave this country when i go home i'm not gonna eat rice because the amount of rice that i've eaten in philippines is enough for 20 years <laughs> hello beautiful people how are you all doing welcome back to my channel so if today is your first day of coming to my channel thank you for coming and to my old subscribers you guys rock this video is streamlined to a student life not a student life so without further ado guys let's get into so the video we're talking about the rent so in nigeria the rentage is okay in a studio type in nigeria you'll be paying seventy thousand for a studio type in nigeria that means your your room your bathroom and your toilet and your kitchen you're paying seventy thousand then in philippines um you pay monthly so for one month you pay hundred dollars so for philippines is a little bit expensive but it's okay it's very okay the pay because of their currency and how they pay workers and all that so it's perfect it's okay moving along to number two as a nigerian our nursery primary secondary school most of us there's some some people go for boarding school but most of us we stay with our parents so when we get to university everybody's looking forward to the time to leave their parents and go and exploit looking forward to that time to go to the university so we can stay alone with our as in far from our parents just to just to stay but in philippines is a whole lot different it's a different thing they come from home like they come from their home in university they come from their home like it's i couldn't comprehend it the first time i came because mind you i was already in university i was in my second year before i left so i have this mindset i have this different mindset but coming over to see that these people that are coming from home i couldn't comprehend it because this is university they were talking about it they are coming from home so it was a culture shock for me yeah. ah we are gonna be talking about the food guys the food in asia is amazing is amazing like the food in nigeria is amazing the food in philippines is amazing as in amazing they have seafood in in their categories you can just name it just name it any kind of categories they have it like seafood all kind of seafood all kind of food like they have everything in philippines but the only difference here is that they prepare it different from the way we prepare it so let's just say for example cassava yeah they have cassava in philippines so they make cassava to make it cassava chips why we use us for um for gary and other things but they use their own for chips so every basic thing or even more than basic thing that we have in Africa so it was amazing it was beautiful it was really beautiful their food their seafood is amazing <laughs> OMG <laughs> it's crazy guys it gets me laughing because it's real I am 5.7 feet tall for a Nigerian, I'm tall to be a model and yeah, but in Philippines, I was considered a giant girl. People just look at me like, oh, this girl is so tall. They tell me, oh, BB, you're so tall. You're this. I know I'm tall, but not to that giant aspect, not, not to like six feet, seven feet thing. So when they're saying that you're so tall, I'm like, <laughs> To my country, I'm just a tall girl, not like super, super, super tall. When you're talking about six feet and from there, but I'm seven, I'm 5.7. So it's not like too something extravagant, but Filipinos mm, to, to them, I am a giant. Like I am a giant <laughs> because actually they're not really gifted in that 
department they don't really have very tall people so yeah i was feeling and i like being tall so i was feeling so superb like oh i'm so tall <laughs> yeah so guys that is it to so the next one you guys my husband then it was my boyfriend he was the one that did everything for me to go back to philippines I was like, this guy, he taking me, is he taking me back to secondary school or what is happening here? In Philippine, guys, in case you don't know, in case you don't know, in university, you guys wear uniform. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> they wear uniform in Philippines. It was... It wasn't funny. It's funny right now, but it wasn't funny. Mind you, my they never knew, they never knew this aspect. I was so shocked when I went to Iro and I saw people wearing uniform. I was like, what is happening here? Like, what is happening here? Am I going back to secondary school? Guys, just to know, Filipinos, they in Philippines, they wear uniform in university. And yeah, but in Nigeria, we don't wear uniform, we dress. In Nigeria, in case you don't know, in Nigeria, we don't wear uniform, we dress casual, normal ways and everything. So yeah, so that is something you need to know if you're planning to go to Philippines. Mm, this is so dear to my heart, it's really, really dear to my heart and I encourage everybody is very there and is real their educational standard is nice believe me is the burst like is nice I was studying nursing so let me give you some a little let me just give you a little for something to get you like get get somebody that is really determined you know how how serious it is Philippine, no joke. And I was studying nursing. Apart from nursing, say no joke. Those people are go, 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 go. And they are so serious and they are good. They are good. Study wise is amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Because if you really want to study, if you really want to, like, they're amazing. I worked my butt out yeah I did school like you will know you would let me just give you this thing because um I have more videos to be doing so you know where I am now in case you don't know already you know I'm in North Cyprus like Philippine taught me a lot that when I came over to where I am now it I find it so easy because Oh my God, Philippine taught me how to be independent. In exam, I have to write my exam myself. Like, yeah, I learned a lot in Philippines. Transportation, transportation um, is relatively okay because like I told you guys, um, students come from their home. So probably some students go to school that is close to their house so they don't have to pay for transport but the transport is just okay it's just normal it's just okay so guys i don't want to go too long so that's just my take in nigerian student versus philippine student yeah i hope you learn one or two things from it until next time guys i'll see you in my next video bye